everybody, it's Christine. Welcome to a new video here on Scrapping with Christine. Today I'm going to be showing you a fun background technique with Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. I've used it before, but I like it so much I wanted to try it in a different setup. So what I'm doing is taking my Easy Runner Grand and replacing the regular one that comes in it with the dots repositionable refill and you can see I'm just spreading those all over the background um, not looking to go neat I am looking to just basically do lines all across the background what I'm going for today is kind of a textury mixed media look um, the one that I did previously I did it inside of a heart and I used the same materials but I achieved a totally different look now I am taking my my sponge and my distress oxide inks and I am spreading it all over what I want it to look like is like a beach background so I want the water part and I want the sandy part and so I am using a combination of yellow and blue and I will link you up to the specific colors down below um, I just got a bunch of new ones, so I can't remember the right names at the moment, <laughs> so I don't want to mess that up for you, but I will be sure to link you up to which ones I used. And you can see I'm not being real careful using them. I'm just spreading across. Um, it's definitely darker in some areas, lighter in other areas. Uh, that's kind of the beauty of mixed media. There's no real exactness involved in it. You just kind of roll with how things go. And uh, that goes a little bit against my creating personality, but I also think it's really good for me to play with that kind of feel. And so now you can see I've got it pretty much all over where I had the adhesive. And now I'm just going back and kind of cleaning it up, seeing where I need a little more, um, where I need to even things out a little bit, that kind of stuff. And you can see already it's got a little bit of a beach feel to it, doesn't it? Um, it's funny because this is the second time I've done this picture. So if you look at this picture of my son and you're like, wait, didn't you do that a couple months ago? Yeah, tired mom brain. <laughs> So I've got two layouts of him with this picture. So I guess one for the family album and one for his. Um, and I guess I really like that picture. Plus also he's 14. He doesn't take a ton of pictures. So when I get a good one, you roll with it. Now, what I'm doing here, after I dried the Distress Oxides with my heater, I am just taking a, a rag and rubbing over it and getting all of the adhesive up because this is a repositionable adhesive it will come off when you're ready for it to come off even despite the fact that i heated it now you saw i didn't heat it for too super long because i didn't want to test my boundaries but you don't want to heat for too super long anyway because you don't want to burn the paper um but I didn't, it did not change at all how it came off. It totally came off still nice and easy. And so that was great. And you can see it's totally changed the look. You've got a lot of the white going on in the background. Now, I had a little more white than I actually wanted. So what I'm gonna do is go back lightly with my sponge in and just add a light coating over the top. I do not want to remove the dots that are there. I want it to still be obvious because I love the texture of it, but I want it to be, a, I just want to calm the white just a smidge. And it's harder to see on camera, but in person it definitely was, it was too much. It almost looked like I had run a little car over it with the tire bumps. <laughs> and so I'm trying to soften that a little bit. And I was definitely able to do that just by going back over with another layer. And that is the great thing about Distress Oxide inks. Once you heat it up and lock things in, um, you can add another layer and really even change your colors up and mix things a lot. They're really fun inks to play with. And so I like that aspect of it. Now I'm going to switch my uh, refill back to the original one that is the permanent dots or permanent strips and put that back in to use for the rest of the layout. And I'm gonna map my picture in white. Now, one thing I did do off camera is I switched my picture to black and white. I wasn't crazy about how this one looked. It's not that it's bad, um, I just wasn't liking it. And so I ultimately decided to switch it to a black and white picture. 
Now all this comes from, all the patterned papers, all the embellishments comes from my kit this month from the Scrap Room. There are Pretty Little Studios products and I am going to just start adding them on. You can see I've got them all laid out right now but they're not secure on there and so that's the next step. So what I'm going to do is use a really nice patterned paper behind my picture that's black and white and I'm going to pop that up with some crafty foam tape just to add some dimension because I've got a lot of flatness going on right now and really make that picture pop off of the page. Next, I'm going to use my Easy Runner Grand to start adding on some of the embellishments. And because there is a lot of black lines and black embellishing in this collection, I'm gonna do a lot of black outlining on this throughout. So you'll see me doing that and just playing to that theme. You can see the difference right now just in the bottom diamond that I've got there and the top one. The black outlining really makes a big difference. I'm also gonna use some crafty, some 3D crafty foams, not crafty, sorry, 3D foam squares to pop things up and especially on stars, I'm going to be making use of those. Um, I'm also going to use my Easy Runner with the micro refill to secure my words on there. Because of the script font, it's very thin. And so I'm using that to get some adhesive on the back of it and just secure it that way. Uh, no trouble getting it stuck on there once I've got that on there. But the nice thing is it is the, that adhesive is an eighth of an inch tall, so it really works nicely for really teeny tiny titles like that. Um, that's my favorite use for it by far. It's just is so nice to have that and pull it out quick and make things work. Now, this whole page kit is from Pretty Little Studio, like I said, and it is a mixture of both the page kit as well as the embellishment kit from them. And you can see it, it's got some really pretty girly colors, if you can see my other embellishments up there on the top. But I also was able to make it work really nicely for a boy's layout. And I love that. I love it when collections work for both genders and you can make it work, especially with three boys. I often have more boy layouts to do than I do for girls. And so I need that option for sure. Those squares and diamonds that you're seeing, I cut out from a patterned paper that came in the page kit, and that was just an easy way to add some extra embellishments to create more of, again, that boy feel. Um, I was able to pull out the exact colors that I wanted. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is add to the black and white, and this is actually a, a, a washi tape from Paper House. It's got birch branches on it, and it's got some silver foiling, but I just thought it complemented the black and white that I have going on really nicely, and so I wanted to bring it in for that and I think it does add a really nice final touch to the whole thing. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to check out the full blog post over at the Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L blog so you can see some more close-up details on it and I will see you again next time with another video. Thanks for joining me.